Hey boys and girls, Pat Hufford here. Just got a new blade sharpener done, locked up in the garage for the coronavirus deal, so had a little extra time in my hands, so something to do. Uh, new blade sharpener runs a 2 inch by 132 inch belt, and yes, that's uh, 11 feet long, so a pretty good sized belt. Uh, made mostly out of scrap steel, uh, it's old, uh, pretty much free, 2 horse, uh, 3400 RPM motor off of an air compressor. Uh, this pulley is just a 4 inch caster wheel, but then it's, it's bored for 5 8 speed shaft. And the one at the other end is a 4 inch caster wheel, but it sits on ball bearings, not roller bearings. And then uh, this is a little bit different than most people's blade sharpeners. Uh, this one is the belt is vertical, and then the bed is down at a 45 degree angle to get the 90 degree sharpening. I prefer it that way because it kind of takes all the, all the weight off of your hands, which is kind of cool. And then uh, it's got this tensioning tracking adjusting thing I made from scrap steel. So you got this lever that will take the, all the tension off, take the belt off, spring loaded, or just uh, pull it back, put the belt back on, release it. And then that's also my tracking adjustment with this knob here. And what that does is crank this, this whole tube up and down, which angles that, angles that wheel back and forth to get the tracking adjustment. The bed is, uh, is ground tool steel, so that's never going to wear out. And then uh, we're sliding the runners on here. This is actually Delrin, not UHMW, so nice smooth surface. Uh, it's adjustable for angle. All you do is loosen up these two, two pins here, and then there's, there's three different angle holes. The one that's in now is 90 degrees. And then uh, take that knob off. And I can put it in a different hole for 100 degrees or for uh, 80 degrees, which we don't do much anymore except for the, the steering runners and the bucket boats. So set it at 90 degrees, put the pin in the hole. All those holes are cut on the milling machine, so they're, they're pretty accurate. So that's kind of cool. And then uh, the whole bed will also go up and down so I can use the entire entire belt surface, so all we do is just loosen these two clamps and then turn this crank and the whole thing will crank up or crank down. Well, that's kind of cool. Uh, the way that works is that there's a chain sprocket here and a chain sprocket here that are geared together and then that drives two jack screws which then brings the whole thing up and down. So I just crank it up to a new spot on the belt, tighten down the handles and good to go. Um, yeah, so that's it. Uh, it's 3400 RPM motor, so that thing runs at about 3,600 feet per minute of belt speed, so throw some good sparks. Uh, fire it up here, and uh, this is a little 3 inch tall, 44 inch runner for the little sea skeeter, so that works pretty good. And then we'll lay on, uh, lay on a bigger full size skeeter runner. So here we go. Sharp, I don't know what it is. And then uh, so that's what a little runner looks like on there. And this is a, a full-size skeeter runner, and this one's 54 inches. Uh, it's uh, rusty, hasn't seen the sharpener in many years. So let's see what that does on there. Take the rust off in a hurry. So yeah, looking forward to a new runner sharpener this winter. 
See you later.